but they fired him after winning 25 games. Are you ready for this? Going 13 and 5. And Maston and Omar off the bench gave them three really good scores. Scores in that second unit. There's one of them. That's the beginning. Both teams go back to zero. And I think that it speeds the game up. I know it does on the FIBA level because uh, with, the, with the idea to you go to seven fouls in a 20 minute half, you don't have that in FIBA, so you start all over and take the ball out of bounds until you get to five fouls and then you shoot two. And uh, I think it's good. I think it speeds the game up. Terry Maston. Stop a lot of Herndon, Virginia. Maston. Man, he has really continued to expand his range. He really has before they moved to the Minneapolis-St. Paul area. Omot. Uh-oh, Cooper. A little slow getting up. Omot hands off for the baseline jumper for T.J. Maston. I was at a game in 1979 at the St. John's Latchick tournament when, at that time, Wagner, still Wagner College, but not a big basketball reputation. And C.M. Newton brought Alabama into New York with Reggie King and some great players, and Wagner upset them in the opening round of the Holiday Festival. And in that in that tournament, by the way, St. John's played American University. Achuil to McClure, trying to answer no. I'd go back inside to Maston again. I'd go Maston or Lacan. Pick and roll with Mastin. Mid range wide open. Terry Mastin. One point game. What a great opportunity for Mississippi State with this young team. Mastin. Quick fire. Oh, high off the glass. Weak side. Got to split the He's got a dozen. Five out of five from the floor. Matson is feeling it right now. Has he shown you the whole game? Yeah, he is. Sails in for the rebound. Excellent job by Creighton to get back. All five. Lacant had nowhere to go. Creighton's got three and a half minutes without a field goal. This, this is the matchup because Lacant is a go to guy. And though he's been shut out tonight, he's got to take over at some point. Mastin's Look at this. Try it. Look at this. Yes. And then he hit. You like the way they've responded. Taylor had a 10 point lead at one point. It shrunk to four. TJ Maston in the game for the first time for Baylor. Lindsay kicks it back out to Maston, the big fella from three. You bet. Wow. Uh, big 12 has a chance to advance two more to the Sweet 16. SEC's already got Kentucky in with Auburn and AM playing today. It's been a terrific season for both. Three or four days, he says, What? There's been a TV crew from Belgium following me around for the last three or four days? Okay. Yeah, I think Wisconsin. Uh the young man Van Vliet, I think it's Andy Van Vliet, he's a, also a member of the Belgian national team. Not to be confused with former soccer and now NBA player Fred, Fred Van, Van Vliet. Vliet. No. <laughs> There's Maston leading in and scoring. That's a bucket. Old man at the line. Straight turnovers on Mississippi State. Here goes Mastin back to work. Oh, left. <laughs> and Howland thought he got fouled inside. It looked like a foul. Mastin to work off the glass. This has been a really impressive performance by Daxter Miles. He's got 19 points. He's hit five threes. And with him, he sees the ball going once. That confidence just grows and grows. And 
He really has been very good tonight here in Kansas City. Watch him shoot and tell me how he shot 29% for the year from three-point. Part of it is shot selection. That, that's a good amount of it. He, he sometimes takes some bad ones, some quick ones. He's at his best when he can knock an easy one down, get himself going. Now you can kind of take some tougher shots. But it's all about Kentucky's recruiting, but it's the rest of the league that's really starting to catch up. Mississippi State right now, the 17th ranked recruiting class coming in next year. A couple top 50 guys. Maston, oh, working inside um, since high school. Very good on the second. Here comes Jake Lindsay. Jake Lindsay playing with a, a sore hip. Normally he might not be playing if they have more depth. It's hard having a 14-point lead at the half because if you don't come out ready to play, scholarship, and that opened up a scholarship late for Blake Francis, and that's how he ended up electing. So instead of prep school, Abjuel puts his head down. No, Mastin rips it away. Terry, Mastin. one dribble into the jump shot, way short. For Wesley Harris. Miles got tripped up. Mastin scores. That's where you miss that. Can I guy plays with a complete chip on his shoulder. He's the kind of guy you, you, you want to root for whether you like basketball or not. Isa Ahmad with the finger roll. Slips it through. Average right now. Zero turnovers. It's amazing as much he handles the basketball. I like the kid a little while to chill. I really do. I think the kid like that, you want to work and work with him. He's obviously got a great attitude. Somebody's going to draft him as a project and keep him, you know, keep working with him. He's going to play this. I was going to say, what are basketball? Hudson fouled shooting it. When they needed buckets, they go to Wade or Brown. Now they switched this ball screen the last time, and they do it again. Three on the shot clock. Brown's got oh. 30. Wow. An eight-nothing Baylor run. Mississippi State not getting anything inside versus this zone. Both of their last six make it seven. Not a smart play. He had 15 in the first half. Well on his way to a career high, but hasn't scored here in the second. And now Mississippi State's lead is down to three. Of the NCAA tournament of the first four, Sports Center 11 Eastern on ESPN and also on the ESPN app. A terrific job by Wayne Casey this year. And... Uh, and that front office of Toronto, they've got a team that uh, is built for a chance to go to the NBA Finals. January 22nd, as you mentioned, K-State, excellent offensively, 57% from the floor. Obviously, you shoot it that well, you're making shots, but the ball moved well. Another thing, the pace was much different than we're seeing so far. This is more of a possession-by-possession half-court game. At least much more than that first meeting. K State's won the last three meetings with Baylor, including beating them in the Big 12 tournament <laughs> last year in Kansas. To push if it's not there, run your stuff, you can get a good look, and don't leave him with that clean look. Yeah, off the dribble, that generally goes down for Monty LeCun. He's got to run the show, be sound, and make sure he tags the cock. Marshall Jones, Kaiser Gates, Gooden, and McCure, the five on the floor for Xavier. Nice screen again by Nazis. Jones. He turned to lock his guy. Mark Vidal's been on him, and you don't have to get as much help when you've got that kind of length. Oh. 
get open looks from the three against Florida because they get so much help defensively to the inside because they're not a big team and they're a little slow rotating out. Baylor a good enough shooting team to take advantage of that? That is really the dilemma. They are not an outstanding shooting team from the perimeter. Another three. Barry the glass. Hey, and if the three-point shot isn't there, Absolutely. go to the paint. Absolutely. Have you seen adjustments by the way Mondo was playing in this game? Uh, yeah, he, he's made really good decisions. And uh, right now, it's just a very well played basketball game by both. And how about defended him a little bit better, done a better job of keeping him in front. But he can still force help situations, which he's done here this afternoon. That's why he has eight assists. And his floor game has been terrific. And yeah, Brown, one assist shy of tying his career high. See if they got met to start things at 34 points back on December 29th. Since then, he's been much more aggressive. There's been lots of examples that would prove that, but I thought the loss at TCU earlier this week was one of them. 24 points on just 14 shots. He had 14 assists. He was really the only player for K-State that was having any success offensively. Shot clock like winding down. Look at that. A lot of man-to-man -man by Baylor in the first half here. Kansas State able to find some room here. And they weed again. And Nuni Omad has also come back for the Bears. Good defense. Rodzianski over Mexton, who is called for the top-notch defense, arguably the best defensive guard in America in Javon Carter to lean on, and they have held Baylor to eight points through the first 13 minutes. Here's Issa Ahmad fading away, adding to the West Virginia lead. By Keen McClure. And that's where you're hurt by being in a hurry. That was one of those trips, just get possession, then run your stuff. Yeah, you're right. Scruggs got it and then hurried up, didn't he? Well, they work so hard at beating that. Watch this footwork there. It's got a little fancy down. Yeah, no double there coming. Oh, no step through. And as we know, he's a terrific athlete, 40-inch vertical, nice move in the post. You have to stay above Maston in the post because you don't want him catching a deep because he'll jump right over the top of you. Here's Seema. With Griff finding foot, just bounces it back to Seema, kept alive.